Hi everyone, this is Pampi Murandante again and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I will be talking about composite functions. Here we go. Okay, when we say composite function, it is also known as the combination of functions wherein it is represented in algebraic form f of g of x. So what do you mean by this? Uh, a composite function is the result of applying one of the functions to an input value of x and then applying the other function to the result. In order to understand this definition, I'll give an example here. Okay, so I have here the example, the functions f and g are defined over the domain of all real numbers as f of x is equal to 3x plus 2 and g of x is equal to 5x. For letter A, express the composite function fg in the form f of g of x. And for letter B, solve and then compare the values of f of g of 4 and then g of f of 4. Note, before working on this, remember that you always process the function nearest the x bracket first. So f of g of x means apply g to x first, then apply f to the result. Okay, so let's start working now on letter A. So here we go, I just copied the form f of g of x and then first I copy f and then write, I write the function of g of x which is 5x and then after that I'm going to apply the result, um, apply f to the result meaning I'm going to substitute 5x to the function of f which is 3x plus 2. So here we go, we have 3 times 5x, I am substituting now the value of x which is 5x plus 2 and then I am going to simplify you have here now the f of g of x is equal to 15x plus 2, okay? Okay, before we start working with letter B, let us remember that it is very important to take great care with the order in which the functions are applied. Since in most cases, f of g of x and f and g of f of x are not the same. Okay, so here we go. First, f of g of 4. Now, f of g of 4 is equal to, I'm just copying f and then apply g to 4, meaning we are going to substitute 4 to the function of g, which is 5x. So that's why you have here 5 times 4, which is equal to 20. Now f of 20, meaning this 20 here, we are going to substitute to the function of f. f is 3x plus 2, that's why you have there 3 times 20 plus 2 is equal to 62. So f of g of 4 is equal to 62. Now let's have g of f of 4. First, I'm copying the function and then copy g first and apply f to 4, meaning we are going to substitute 4 to the function of f, which is 3x plus 2. That's why you have there 3 times 4 plus 2 is equal to 14. So now we have g of 14, meaning we apply g to 14, okay, which is we are going to substitute 14 to the function of f, I mean to the function of g, which is 5x. That's why you have there 5 to times 14 is equal to 70. And this is now the value of g of f of 4. Let's compare. Look at f of g of 4. That is 62. And g of f of 4 is equal to 70. So they are not the same. So be careful on that. Okay? That is all about composite functions. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!